In today's video, we're carrying on with declutter January and giving the bathroom a bit of a reorganise as well as a deep clean. As you've probably gathered at this point, any vertical format videos were originally filmed for TikTok, but I like to post them here too so people who don't have that app can still watch. It's a bit of a short one today, but I hope it will tide you over while I finish my huge kitchen declutter, which I think, or very much hope, you're going to love. So let's get into it. Today we're doing a ridiculously overdue deep clean and declutter of this bathroom. I don't know why, but out of all the rooms in the house, my bathroom's always the most neglected. Before we start, I'm going to get all my cleaning products out of my newly rearranged cupboard. I am so chuffed with this. Look at that little spinny plate thing. I've been on a marathon declutter of this kitchen, all the cupboards, all the drawers. I'm still in the process of it. It's taken me forever, as you can imagine, because it's absolutely atrocious. But that'll be on my YouTube channel at some point this month. But I know you lot have been begging me to sort my kitchen cupboards out pretty much since I started this channel. And by some miracle, I actually managed to convince myself to do it. Anyway, let's do some cleaning. I told myself if I did a good job of this, I could treat myself to a new series after the kids had gone to bed. And yes, I have to reward myself like a dog or a child whenever I get something done around the house. I've learnt to work with my weird brain and that's the only way to get things done apparently. But I saw a new series of True Detective advertised today and I absolutely love that kind of thing. It's got Jodie Foster in it too, so that should be really good. And I jumped on the Saltburn bandwagon yesterday. I didn't know what to expect because everyone's been going on about it, but I absolutely loved it. I thought the direction was really artistic, I loved the acting, I loved all of the hidden messages and the symbolism. Yeah, was very pleasantly surprised. I'm able to actually sit down and watch things in the evenings now because Ike's dropped his nap in the day. Just got to unblock the plugs because my kids smush things down there constantly. And yes, we grown adults have thrown our clothes on the floor. Shocking behaviour. But yeah, when he was still having his naps in the day, he was going to bed literally at the same time as me. And I was getting no downtime at all, which is terrible for your mental health. Just removing the hair art there. Not gonna lie, that was me. And it was also me that ripped that shower curtain. It was one of those magnetic ones and the magnets fell out. And it left these pockets where the water would get in and it would go mouldy and grimy. And it was a real pain to clean. And I was having a look at it and it looked like the little pouch was glue gunned on. So I tried to rip it off and ended up ripping the whole curtain. So we've got a new one to put up today. But yeah, back to hair. Since I had Ike, my hair has been falling out in clumps. I'm honestly surprised I'm not bold at this point and add that to Charlie's hair loss because he sheds hair like a husky as well. There's just constant slimy hairballs in the drain. What can you do? When I'm washing my hair and it comes out in my hands, instead of just letting it fall and go down the drain, <laughs> I end up just wiping it on the wall. I know it's disgusting, but it is only hair. The bath is also extra grimy because it's bath bomb and slime season. I get so many lush bath bombs for Christmas because it's my fave and it's pretty much all I ask for. And on previous years, I'd end up using them really sparingly or saving them for special occasions. And then they'd end up losing a lot of their smell or just kind of smelling musty and old. Do you know what I mean? And I thought, I'm not going to do that this year. Every day is a special occasion. And I mean to go on like that in 2024. So I've been having loads of baths. But they always leave this oily, waxy film in the bath, don't they? On top of that, the boys have been given loads of bath slime. So that's been lobbed all over the shop, and when it dries, it's pretty much indistinguishable from a crispy toddler bogey. I treated myself to a new scrubbing brush to do these tiles. I'd been using um, a scrub daddy before, but I saw this the other day when I was in the range, and I thought, I'm going to try it, because it's got a handle, and I love the sound these things make. Very satisfying. I often get suggestions when I clean the tiles to make my life easier, which is very nice, but sometimes I just think there's nothing more therapeutic than scrubbing away. It's just me and my thoughts and that lovely scrubbing sound. I only get to do these really thorough deep cleans when Charlie's home. Because I can't really get stuck into this and keep an eye on Ike at the same time. Deep cleans are a bit different to the normal daily cleans, aren't they? Where you can just potter around and do your cleaning while they play. I literally get blinkered vision when I'm deep cleaning. Plus, I don't really want Ike breathing in all the bleach. So when I do get a chance to do it, I fully take advantage and I absolutely go for it. But yeah, both my mood and productivity have improved drastically since Ike dropped his last nap. I feel like that period where they're developing so fast and they're transitioning from a baby to a toddler can be so testing in so many ways. They're learning new skills, learning to talk, learning to potty train. 
it feels like they're a new child each week they're changing so fast. But simultaneously, when it's been a challenging week, it feels like it's never going to end. And then you feel guilty for not enjoying every moment, even though you're tired and running on fumes. You're trying to balance them and work and hobbies and self-care. You still want to nurture and put effort into your relationship. Not to mention your friends who you mean to reply to and realise you haven't responded to in three days. Thank God I have the friends I do. And I'm so grateful me and Charlie are on the same wavelength and communicate well. Because that phase of life is intense and you're being pulled in so many different directions. And then you'll get someone say to you, treasure every moment because you'll blink and they'll have moved out. And then you're crying yourself to sleep at night because you're imagining the little baby that you're cuddling won't always be a little baby. And the little boy that sat next to you chatting your ear off won't always want to talk to you. I'd like to start a petition to stop people saying that to mums, you know. Of course we need to remember to be present and appreciate and savour every single moment. But some of us are sentimental and over-emotional and you don't realise that those words feel like a punch in the gut. And I don't know where all of that came from, but yeah, we tried dropping his nap before, but he just wasn't ready and it'd get to like 5, 6 o'clock in the afternoon and the whole house would be miserable. Because he'd be so tired, he'd be clingy and crying, he wouldn't eat his dinner. Sometimes he'd end up falling asleep at the dinner table. And if he did fall asleep at 6, would he stay asleep? No, he'd wake up at about eight and wouldn't go back to sleep until like two o'clock in the morning. So I am ecstatic to have made it across that bridge finally. Finally, some free time in the evenings. I don't know what to do with myself. Yes, I do. I'm going to watch True Detective and stuff my face. Anyway, we bought a new sturdy storage rack for the back of the door because the old canvas one we had was just useless. If you put more than one thing in it, it'd fold So we got this and I've got rid of so much stuff. Decided to use the bottom drawer as a toy box. So that gives us more floor space now. We've got a shiny new shower curtain. And now all I've got left to do is clean the side of the bath and clean the floors. As always, I don't use a mop in the bathrooms. I find getting on my hands and knees with a bucket of bleachy water helps you get into all of the corners and crevices. I realise not everyone's able to do that though. And that's okay. It's just my preference, but it's not essential. All that matters is you're doing the best you can do. I might be blessed with the mobility to be able to kneel down and scrub the floors, but my executive function is very much lacking and I can't pick up as I go along to save my life. We're all so different, aren't we? And when it comes to keeping the house clean and tidy, we've just got to find ways that work for us. Anyway, that's the bathroom almost done. I really hope you enjoyed watching and I'll see you in the next one.